talk about a story that emotionally draws you in. I mean, if any of you can picture your child sitting in that car, or if you've ever had that panic thought, I think my keys are in that car. That's a terrifying moment. Watching that little girl just weep her eyes out, knowing her baby was literally minutes from death. And when I arrived on the scene, I had just seen her drive by the house. I didn't realize who she was because it was a new car. But when I saw that happening, I was thinking to myself, how much time do I have with 105 degrees outside? I mean, it's a good car. It's a new car. It's well insulated. The air conditioner has been on. All oh, that's great. Um, but what if? It gets hotter. How long can it last? All those things are going through my head. Now, I could spend 20 minutes standing here telling you, you know, I'm standing on the porch, and this girl drives by, and I see her go by, and I don't recognize the car. And do you understand all the filler in front of the story? And it loses its power. But snap by snap by snap, the snapshot images of, you know, I'm standing here on the porch, I'm just chilling, doing a little work around the house. And in a moment that seems like a calm, nothing day, a life is on the line. Those are the pictures that you want to paint in your head so you can move from scene to scene really, really quick. So who wants to be brave and go first? 